Hello all, welcome to Chronically Happy, I know it's backwards, Chronically Happy Crafting Corner Chat. Uh, today's projects, um, I really wouldn't mind getting the boxes ready to send out for, uh, let me get some lighting on my face. Uh, I'm blind myself, jeez. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I'm getting ready to hook up my trailer to take it over to storage, and, uh, I just had some, uh, brunch. Uh, I think I took my medicine. I don't know if I took all my medicine. <sighs> but anyways, I have a couple projects I wanted to get started. Including these little softy head guys that's either happy or mad. Hmm. So I have to decide whether I want him to be a happy or a mad guy. And I'm going to go with happy. And... Uh, I think I might try and start it off as a bracelet. Um, I may end up going the necklace route. I'm not quite positive, but you know what? I actually kind of want to do with some necklaces today. I don't know what centerpiece I want to do. Hmm. I have so many choices to choose from. Let me uh, take a moment and do that. Hey y'all, I'm back. I uh, picked out my beads for a couple possibilities. Um, I really just wanted to do some necklaces. I haven't done any uh, like serious ones since uh, my shell one, which was one of my first ones that I made, which is like, that's one of the only original ones I uh, have kept from series one of all my uh, beaded ventures. So I still have this necklace as one of the first ones I made. I'm still really proud of it. I really like this necklace a lot, and it's uh, I've worn it multiple times. If I didn't have stuff to do at my storage unit, I'd wear it. I'm, I'm afraid of breaking it. Uh, but I have a lot of great projects hanging up. Uh, I'm excited about all my uh, new crafts. And uh, oh, it was a late night last night. I got some bags under my eyes today. I ended up gaming late with my gaming buddy and oh man, his dad just had a stroke and their relationship is just complicated. Um, it was a complicated relationship with most people. He's on the spectrum and he just, uh, he don't open up to do to, uh, too many people. He, uh, has very, like, one or two friends, maybe. I don't know. Like, I don't know who, what, if he considers me a good friend or, or what. Um, but I think it is, I am one of the closest friends that I think he has compared to his wife. Um, which I love his wife dearly. She's such a great person. I can't wait to, um, I actually have plans to catch up with her. Uh, she doesn't know it yet, but yeah, I wanted to call her and just check in and see how she's doing. You know, see how uh, Cody may have been uh, responding around her lately and you know, just, uh, you know, be mindful of, uh, you know, their relationship and uh, what they try to have together. Uh, I love both of them. We have lots of things in common and uh, him and I have lots of things in common. Her and I have lots of other different things in common. It's a, it's a great married couple relationship. I uh, do one thing with one of them and other things with the other of them. Road trips, camping, you know, uh, then gaming and uh, just hanging out. Hanging out at his house while he cooks a fantastic tri-tip. He does know how to cook a tri-tip. <laughs> He's really good at it. Uh, they taste dang delicious. It's been a while since he's cooked for us. Oh, he cooks for his family, you know, most of the time, but it's really not much cooking. He's just exhausted. He's a, he's on burnout. He's a investigative journalist. He has lots of things to do. <laughs> he has a lot of court cases to uh, go over and he has a big one coming up. So 
I can only hope that he can decompress and unwind in healthy ways and not get super drunk like he did last night on a continuous basis throughout the summer and shenanigans ensue with the drinking. <laughs> uh, he just, uh, he, he wants to avoid any trouble at all costs. He doesn't want to deal with anything uh, bad happening because of somebody else's actions that they are hanging out with and doing things with. Um, he just doesn't think anything good of it could happen, could uh, come of it. <laughs> so, I can't really get it too much into the detail, it's not my business to share. Um, anyways, I'm working quite well on my project here. I'm trying to do more natural earthy tones with a little bit of neon and uh, uranium glass beads. Uh, throwing in some wood beads here. Um, I'm thinking about throwing in some more wood beads. Maybe some color changing beads. I got some of those lined up. But I think I just want it to be more earthy. Um, not too much sparkle. Uh, let's do this color green. It's kind of brighter. <laughs> Here I'm like, let's go more earthy, and then I'm like, let's go brighter here. I, uh, I don't know, I think, I think it blends in too much with the beads below it. I, I don't know. No, maybe not. I may change this design around. I may not like it the first time. We shall see. A big flat bead. Where do I want to go with the nut? <laughs> I should probably put a jumper bead on this because otherwise it won't like stand out too well. I'll get buried in the beads. I need a little jumper ring on it before I add it to the necklace. So I have to put a pause on that. Um, Yes, I am living life and loving life to the fullest. I am uh, getting to know people in this uh, Facebook Messenger group pretty well. I uh, I'm making a family that I'm going to meet up with in Las Vegas for sure when EDC happens next year. Um. It's so nice to build these friends, friendships up now so we can get to know each other beforehand and like really, you know, when we come together, we're going to come together and it's going to be such a fabulous time. Uh, I would love to make a spontaneous road trip down to go see one of them. He's one of them a lot. Um, but I'd like to get to know him and his partner. Uh, I think... Uh, he has part of EDS or high flammability spectrum disorder. He's a ginger. I'm like, I'm seeing like a lot more gingers come out with having EDS. Uh, what is it with that mutation? There's an underlying redhead mutation that has something to do with things, I think. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's really that many redheads in my family. Uh, it's just, it's interesting. Uh, uh, I, I need to get some of my mom's DNA for uh, the 23andMe stuff. I know that stuff's been going through a lot of controversy and things lately, but, uh, you know, it's good information. Uh, I think knowledge is power, and knowing your family medical history is like the key to your own success moving forward in life. And really being able to ground yourself into your body and know what your body's signs and signals are trying to tell you certain times in your life with certain things that happen and 
You may not be listening. You may not be uh, trying to pay attention because you're on your way out of burnout and you can't seem to not bring your home, your work home with you. I never got a chance to go home when I was on my deployments on, in, in the Navy. It was like a floating prison. Like for six months at a time, I like lost touch with all everything outside of the internet. We didn't, we had internet hours. We didn't have internet at all times. And it, things are a lot better now, but uh, for when I was in, nope. Oh, there's some more bracelet size. I don't know what I was thinking. But it is a pretty bracelet so far. I mean, it's just too big. I need to restring it. I like it so far. So, I need to cut my string a lot longer. Uh -huh. I'm trying to stay awake. I'm trying to work through the afternoon yawns that I go through. So I take my, uh, which is my Adderall a reasonable amount of time ago. But I also ate some food, which also like helps it break down even faster. And my metabolism is kind of fast because of my tachycardia and POTS and all that kind of stuff. Necklace length me. Okay. There we go. Now to restring. Just trying my best to weave my way through <laughs> with my string. Okay, I made it that far. That's good. Okay, I can string some more. Okay, so I can go through. <laughs> This, uh, this is why I didn't want to work with anything with small holes. <laughs> because it takes so long to, like, effing mess up somehow. And just have to restring it all. Sometimes beads don't like to have two strings go through. And there's some bracelets that I really need beads to go through two strings at one time. <laughs> These next ones won't be able to. They're too skinny. I'll try to get these pony bees through. <laughs> Crafting issues. <laughs> Operator error. <sighs> so, restringing my, my necklace. Because it's supposed to be a necklace, not a bracelet. I love coming up with bee design. I It's my favorite part of doing this whole process. Uh, it's getting creative with it and I can do whatever I want and some things I think might look good together they just don't and I just don't want to include them because they're just not I, I don't know I just uh, I'm inspired at certain moments of the day and uh, like you know what I just I just want to create I want to do some therapy. I want to be uh, positive, you know, get some something accomplished. Uh, and slowly get my phone calls and stuff done. I'm trying to do just, just do one thing at a time. Get scheduled one thing at a time. I still need to call somewhere else back. I need to do my registration on my trailer. I have so many other bills I need to catch up on. Uh, I slacked out on this month because of a uh, vacation and needing all of my money at the beginning of the month for gas. Um, need some more of my uranium beads because of that and uranium. Somebody just mentioned using a spoon to get them out. I think that's a fabulous idea. I never thought about that. So I'm potentially going to add a spoon to my crafting list of necessities that 
really do make a difference in uh, crafting and being prepared for a whole project that you begin. So this is what I've got so far. I've almost matched the other side completely. I just need these two colors and then I'm done with that side. And I'm just uh, going to keep going up with the those natural colored beads. And the earthy tones, greens. Uh, I don't know if I want to add white to it. I think I want to add white just to contrast this uh, green. So let's see how that looks after I add this and another wood bead or something shiny like one of these tree beads or oh, one of these mood <laughs> beads. I uh, I'm about to uh, hold up a couple different options and see what I think. Oh, I found these. Sometimes you come across a problem with these pony beads where you need to poke her through. Look at that. That guy has hardly any hole. Look at that. How am I supposed to string that very well? I just stab that F out of it. Oh, the thing is really sharp. Don't get your thumb, by the way. It sucks. And there's also like a saw blade, so I try and like shave it all the way down okay then I am able to use the bead I did a pretty good job I'll get my hole big my bit my hole bigger <laughs> uh, the uh, chat's been getting kind of spicy lately and kind of Hey guys, let's chill. We don't want to get any uh, strikes against us. Let's see what this tree looks like. Happy little tree. Maybe some clouds. I actually do have some clouds. A tree. Do you think the shiny's too much? I think the shiny's too much. I don't think I like that. Alright, let's go back to our wood. Let's go with this big ball. See what the ball looks like. Yeah, I like the ball. Then let's do some white next to it to really contrast the colors of that on the other side. I like to do odd numbers. Threes and fives are some of my favorite color switch combinations. see I think another wood bead but a long one so one of these then dull it back down with some dark colors maybe or may maybe some mids some mid browns that green and brown Maybe do a little couple uh, stripies. Let's just do a few of those. Those look good together. I like those colors together. Look at that. That looks cool. Now that's getting close to a lot on one side, so I really need to do the same on the other side and see how long I've got it. I'm going to adjust from there and probably finish it off. Then I finally got my natural natural looking uh, one of these. Get a big ball. It'll just be one big ball to finish it off on the end. So now we just do the same on this side. Get rid of this ball. Squirrels. And white. This is magic in the making, guys. It's hard for me to multitask 
so I do want to start to go live after I hit 500 subscribers, which we're almost there, guys. Almost 500. We're at 494 last I looked. I haven't looked much this morning because I was uh, busy trying to get ready for the day. I'll try and beat the heat before it gets too hot. Two, three of these and three of those. Okay. Um, but it's already getting too hot. I really don't want to go outside right now. I procrastinate for a reason sometimes. I self-sabotage. I'm like, I don't want to do this today outside in the heat. I'm listening out, even though I miss the Vegas heat. I'm like, this is just not the same. Boom. I think that's a good, reasonable size necklace with the stretchy string. Maybe hit it with some glue and be good to go. Actually, I have enough left over to do a bracelet with this too. I cut off way too much. But it's always better to have too much than not enough. I always triple tie it, but I don't know, that's just my thing. Bod numbers, I'm telling you. Alright, that is done. So you guys have actually sat here while I made one complete necklace. And uh, so I come up with my designs just on the fly. But I have a little bit of semblance of what I want. And then a uh, black light. Close in the dark. Those are UV reactive. This is hard to see because of the, the, all the lighting in the back. Let's see, take my handkerchief off for a second. Model my necklace. Take the hematite off. Wear this today instead. Advertise what I make. <laughs> and it kind of matches my outfit for the day. I like being able to make my uh, jewelry per outfit. Um, you know, it's, and then I try out my merch and, uh, you know, once I'm able to get 500 subscribers and uh, so many watch hours, I'll be able to sell my necklaces on YouTube here. So that is my goal by getting, uh, you know, all of you to subscribe that like to pop in and see what I'm all about. Thank you so much, and thanks for staying till the end. You get silent in spots. Um, but it's just, uh, you know, daily life. I uh, stayed up late gaming, uh, being a good friend and listening, hopefully not seeing too much on this. Um, I can't uh, disclose too much information about him. Uh, he's a pub. He, he writes stuff. <laughs> he writes things. Um, so I know people and uh, I know people in places <laughs> they can look up anything uh, and uh, I'm really proud of my friend for uh, sticking with it and uh, he just he needs to find a way to release his uh, stress a little bit easier but he does what is he does and we all do what we do with our own coping and it's up to us to change and uh, you know take life as it comes enjoy it Smile. Enjoy life more. I'm going to be getting this handkerchief wet because I'll be uh, out in the warmth. I'm going to um, put some sunblock on and hopefully get out there. I'm going to have to take a uh, second um, uh, Adderall today uh, just because of my chronic fatigue. I had to fight through this. The fatigue is real. <laughs> I'm trying to cleanse my body and detox it because I was not eating. I was not eating clean at all. And this is the reason why I feel this way. I have to take these other meds is because I'm not eating clean. And it really does make a difference in one's life eating clean. Um, I'm a big firm believer in it. And 
I had no reason to blame but myself because I had ate what I've ate. But now I've just got to detox it. So there's there's a lot of fatigue ahead. <laughs> a lot of fatigue ahead. And I'm going to like slowly stop seeing my chiropractor. I want to see uh, how I do. I want to get better. Um, you know, I need to adopt different strategies to see what works for now. Um, it's not always the same. I really did injure him right my back in two spots and it's just getting the right doctor and um, getting all the insurance and everything lined up properly and I'm slowly and surely getting through my PTSD but I also need to set up my therapist and they've tried to reach me twice this week and I uh, haven't called them back yet but I'm working on it Monday morning I'm gonna do that and uh, yeah I'm going to get on the ball because I'm going to need it because this, uh, this, uh, summer is going to pass before I know it. And I love doing all kinds of things in summer. I need to plan some more rock handling trips. I need to plan my canning. I need to go over my storage unit now. I need to drop off my trailer today. I need to get it out of here. Um, but I need to do maintenance on my trailer too. I need to do maintenance on my car. I, you know, I gotta get registration on my trailer. I just, I got so much on my plate. And so much money that I don't have right now to shell out on that stuff when the first comes around. I'm gonna be, bro I'm gonna be broke once I, uh, once the first comes around. Um, I hope I have enough of my beads to really get a good bulk supply built up before I can open the store. And you know, I gotta wait for these watch hours. You guys gotta watch more of my videos for longer. I need the, I need the watch hours before I can sell this stuff on onto you guys. You know, I want to be official. I want to sell all my merch that I make. Um, I have a lot of uh, ideas in the future, and I have so many different designs going um, for silly, for natural, for you know. I've got the charms. I've got the, I got the different things. Got a squirrel. I got a nut. <laughs> I got more wood beads. You know, uh, the color changing beads that are in the shape of a heart, even. They're super adorable. Some of these blue things. And some stars that are iridescent. Uh, a little navigation. I was going to put that on this thing, but um, I thought this one would go good with the colors that I had picked out, so I'm going to see what other colors I might change up or add or take away. Um, but yeah, I like to do different lines that are like similar, like I did this bracelet here. <laughs> Oops. Like this bracelet matches this necklace pretty much, pretty much. so... That's gonna look good together today. Advertise my bracelets. Um, I have my friends wear them in different states, and uh, they get compliments. And uh, you know, I'm gonna give give some a lot away for charitable contribution organizations for Ehlers Danlos Syndrome and society and uh, such. So. I got, you know, my friend's business, I'm going to give a whole bunch to, to try and uh, market myself and so at her restaurant, you know, she's got to have a, a beginning batch, a test batch and see how well they do and, you know, and see if it's worth making anymore. Uh, see, see what happens. And uh, I'm waiting for the VA to set up my uh, doctor appointment there so I can uh, uh, get up there and see my friend, give her this product and see how how well it goes uh, she really seems to like them and uh you know we'll see what we can do uh negotiation wise for price and you know for anything in the future um so hopefully we can uh, get a good deal going <clears throat> and you know it's probably just going to be a one-time thing uh, or a two-time two-time thing. We'll see. See what happens. Uh, I'm optimistic. I think I uh, I make really good different types of uh, bracelets, and uh, I, 
I really enjoyed making this uh, cupcake one. <laughs> That's got in inappropriate eat my leap on it. And it's got cupcake and uh, bats, but I really like the uh, UV response to it too. Looks really cool under the black light. <clears throat> My friend's Hulk ones. I can't wait to send those out to, to her. She's got her bracelet and her necklace. Um, I'm so excited to send those out to her. Um, I just got a request for a stitch one. I actually do have a stitch bead. So that is on my list of now a uh, necklace bracelet to make. Um, I still have one more squishy. I can do these type of <laughs> squishy bracelets. <laughs> these, these are very rainbow and looking pridey, you know. Um, but I do like these beads because they're really cool. And they do match the freaking thing. <laughs> I got those ones. And then I got ones that are not so rainbowy. Better squish like this guy. <laughs> you wear it, you can just squish it when you stress. So it's a good sensory thing. I just thought it was super cute. I kind of matched the bow with the with the dog color. And then the same with this one here for the necklace. It's kind of a stress dude, but you know maybe maybe people are you know would rather grab it from their you know at their chest than at at their in their hand you know I don't know, but that's how I made this guy. Um, and then yeah. I'm, I don't really have much in, much else yet. I'm waiting on some of my letter beads so I can continue. Uh, I ran out of a lot of letters making a, the Zebra Strong and then the Busy Bee Diner bracelets. Uh, I need to make a lot more still. I just ran out of the letters. <laughs> I need E's. <laughs> a lot of E's in every color and shape. <laughs> Um, I, I finally got my letters organized. That's another new uh, thing. Instead of a whole bunch of small ones, I have four big ones now. They have every type of letter. But they're different kind of compartments than my other ones. These ones are long and they only have eight compartments. But it serves my letters really well at the type so I can separate them. These ones are like my block letters, the wood ones. I need to refill a lot of the certain letters like E's and those as well. Then I got the gold hanging down letters, the silver, round gold and round silver. And then I have black with gold and then white with gold here. And these are all just these colors of letters and I almost am out of E's in all of these as well so I have to replenish some a lot of those this is my most fulfilled one these are all just glow in the dark with black letters <laughs> then I got black with rainbow letters white with rainbow letters white with black black with white <laughs> glow in the dark colored letters I mean solid colors with letters um yeah <laughs> I have all kinds of letters <laughs> uh, and I'm waiting for the circular letters with black um those are on their way but they're like delayed they're like out of stock of those I'm like wow I don't I didn't think it was in such high demand But I really like, if 
for the zebra strong I really like the round ball letters for zebra strong You'll have to close your window. so it is what it is um, just I just gotta I just gotta wait in the mail they're coming I even checked all the stores Except for Michael's in person, and I think Michael's is actually a store that carries them. So I just I can't afford to go into town and go spend money on beads right now. I can't afford that. I, I had a twenty dollar gift card. I just ordered some knee pads because I've been working a lot on my knees because I get, I just can't stand because of my back at times. I I just can't. I have to just be on my knees and stand like waist up. Uh, it's, my mobility is getting bad. I gotta, um, I gotta really work on it every day. I have to do exercises and reel in my back every day. I have to give myself proper rest every day with this chronic fatigue. Instead of taking another Adderall and push through, I need to rest. I have to listen to my body. And it's telling me I cannot right much more more today because I'm trying to detox from all the uh, sugar I've had it's a bad sugar crash and uh, yep my body's trying to create inf inflammation and it can't because I'm not giving it sugar to create inflammation but the longer I eat sugar the more inflammation it creates and the more the cycle it just continues to continue to flare so, it's my own fault, but I'm addicted to sugar things right now because of the inflammation. It wants to be inflamed. I have to fight the addiction, the urge, the body wants what it wants, the mouth wants what it wants. Uh, it's uh, difficult some days. I have to just try my best to suppress my appetite and uh, get through those cravings, distract myself, do art, rest, <laughs> um, be my own best friend and care about myself and do the self-care that is necessary to be able to keep going because it is now the hottest part of the day and now I just need to rest during this part until it tries to start cooling down and as, as, as the sun is setting I need to get to my storage unit and also drop off my trailer so I just dread trying to go out there and trying to get it hooked up trying to back up just right <laughs> to get that trailer to go whoop, right on the ball uh, Right on the ball. <laughs> a lot of things going on on the outside of the house. So, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you all for being here and listening and for the crafting corner update. I, uh, I really got focused on my designing my, my necklace. I really, I really like it. I think it turned out nice. Um, so, I'm going to do more of that or in the same kind of theme. Good, good Keep smiling. Life is beautiful. Life is short. You never know how long you've got. So tell those that you love that you love them because you never know. Peace out.